Magic maths, a really good way for getting your child to think mathematically and to practice their mental and written math strategies, but in a really fun way. The idea of magic maths is that your child calculates through a range of formula to reach the same answer every time. Magical because it doesn't matter what number you start with, as long as you follow the formula, you will always get to the same number. You'll see your fa child's face light up in delight as they challenge their family members and their friends and they can always guess the number that they're going to get to. So, starting with a very easy number, because you might want to encourage your child to do some mental maths. Um, and it's a nice way to start with an easy number just to get them really thinking. I would practice this on my child first, so I'm going to use some magic maths on you, okay? So thinking of a number, let's start with three. Subtract one. So we're going to do our calculation. Three, take away, subtract minus one, which gives us two. Now we're going to multiply by three, a really good way of practicing those times tables. Now we're going to add 12 to our answer. So we've got six and we're adding on 12 to get us to 18. Then we're going to divide by three. So 18 divided by three, again, a great way of using those inverse multiplication facts and those really good mental strategies. So we're back to six. Now we're going to add on five. And the last step, we're going to subtract the number that we first thought of. And hey presto, our answer is eight. So let's try with a slightly more difficult number. Okay, so this is Using a bigger number is going to probably um, encourage your child to use more written methods. Um, but if you do feel that your child is still able to work mentally, do encourage that because this is a really good way of practicing those mental math skills, which aren't always easy to practice at home. So think of a number, let's say 20 this time. So we're subtracting one. And I would actually get your child to lay it out like this. Even when they're asking other people, I would get them to calculate it at the same time so that you are able to check that the person who's solving it is actually carrying out the steps correctly and that their calculations are actually correct. So 20 take away one is 19. 19 multiplied by three. This is at this stage where you might need to use a little bit of short multiplication. So I'm just going to do it over here, so it's out of the way. 19 times three, three times nine, 27, carry our two, three times one is three, plus two is five, and we have 57. 57 add 12 is 69, dividing 69 by three, and your child should be able to do that because they know what 60 divided by three is and what nine divided by three is. So they should be able to come to the conclusion 23. 23 add five, which is 28. Take away your first number and hey presto, my answer is eight. So what you would do is then send your child off with this little list of rules, ask them to go around asking adults or friends of the family or their friends in school and they go through this answer, all these steps, and they will be able to tell them I, your answer is going to be eight and they will know straight away. If the answer is not eight, then they know that the adult has made a mistake. 